dude. <laughs> you have... What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Devin and I are in the heart of downtown, Austin, Texas, man. It is, what is the date? I don't even know, like it matters. <laughs> Tuesday, September 15th, 11.33 in the morning. We got construction workers cruising by on Lime Scooters and we're grabbing some Frito burritos from a local spot on Rainy Street out here. Zeke is in the back just hanging out. Say hi. Here's Zeke. Say hi to everybody. Yep. And we're gonna hit a couple lakes today, I think. We're gonna go back to Lady Bird, which we didn't have much success on the other day, and just show you guys a little bit more of the city. We're gonna try and catch fish as well, of course, but Lady Bird, for some reason, a lot of people tell me Lady Bird's tough, it's pressured, it's this, it's that, and the other. And, uh, you know, we're gonna try and get on some fishies. We might try and take the boat and cruise up into the Barton Springs area as far as we can get. We might also just take a look at the city. There's this uh, cool graffiti spot I wanted to hit. And then later, we're probably gonna switch lakes on ya and go hit Lake Austin, fish some docks, a couple creek channels where they open up to the main water and see if we can't get on some big fish. Jared might join us later. Grant might join us later. Jay might join us later. I don't really know what is in the cards, but it's gonna be a fun day. Here comes Devin with the goodies right now, man. Let's have our breakfast and make it back over to the ramp. All right, just backing up to the ramp now. Frito chili cheese burritos off the chain from yeah. Bummer Burrito. Mm. I got it with the carne asada. Devin got hers with chicken. Or did you get something entirely different? I got a different burrito. Oh, she got a different burrito. Oh, we'll try this one. Mine's just like a standard burrito. It's the bummer burrito. Come on. Good boy. Yeah. Want some rods, buddy? All right, guys, it's trolling motor only on this lake. We're not supposed to run the big motor. And we are uh, just kind of cruising. I got the remote going on the trolling motor. We're going full speed ahead, about four miles an hour towards the bridges. We're trying to get to a little spot we had in mind that we didn't get to hit on the first day out on Lady Bird. Re-rigging a couple different baits on our way to the spot. Yep, come on. Yep, come on. Oh, it's taking me. Oh, it's taking me. You might grab the net. Yeah, we might get it out just because you're on the lighter leader, right? Yeah. It's under. Oh, it's taking me. Ready, it's coming. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh my gosh. What have you got on there? Oh. Dang, that's a bummer. That was a good one. That was a good one. Got him. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. right towards him and boom. We've been at it for hours and it all comes down to a cracking crawl. I saw him on the live scope. I was like, okay, we haven't been using live scope all day. So we started like breaking it out and actually looking at the targets. I cast it right on that one that was a few feet down. Sure enough, as soon as it hit the water, the little guy munched it. So not a big fish, obviously. Ladybird's known for some bigs, but no, not for you. <laughs> Feels good to get one in the boat after Devin missed that one over there on the bridge a little while ago. So we're gonna go ahead and try and scope a couple more out. There's a little grouping of them out here. See if we can't get them. Just a new top speed of 4.1 miles per hour on the Garmin, y'all. <laughs> We were trying to stay in the shade as long as possible. It's getting a little warm out here. Luckily we got some cloud cover, so we're working our way back to the ramp. We're gonna take a break and then probably hit another lake here in a little bit. Stay tuned. What up y'all, Devin and I threw you through a loop. We uh, are under the 360 bridge out here at Lake Austin with uh, 
you know, Swim Bay Kid, Grant Langmore. Yes, it's gonna be a good old time. Hit the Starbucks up first. That's kind of why I went like this right off the bat, but didn't say anything about the coffee. But we're on that uh, pumpkin holiday deal. This is the Grande Pumpkin Print. What is this? Nitro cold brew with the pumpkin cold foam or whatever. I don't know, man. It's one of those designer drinks that's extra delicious. I'm gonna sip on this, get wired to try and catch some fish because you know we didn't catch much earlier. We're here. The ramp's nice. We're gonna try and get some fish. Yo, I mean, we're in like half a foot of water. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to uh, about to run into something. We're trying to cast some bread out here and get, some, uh, get on some carp, man. Grant's got a story to tell you guys about this place here in a second. No way. What have you got, dude? <laughs> Oh, I got one. I'm, I'm more, you got a carp, not a turtle? It's either a carp It could be a turtle. A catfish. <laughs> a catfish, maybe? Don't let him go. It's a catfish. It's a catfish. Oh, we got catfish, man. We got catfish, it sounds like. We'll give you all the first glimpse. Oh, yeah. I just saw some fish swimming by on the uh, perspective mode, guys. So, oh, look, dude, they're right back. They're back, they're right here. Okay. No luck on the carp. But the reason we wanted to catch carp was, so this this lake used to have a ton of, high, like, prime hydrilla. The bass fishing was amazing just because there was so much cover for these bass to hang out in. And so what Texas Parks and Wildlife did because the, the homeowners who owned houses on the lake would complain about the hydrilla getting caught up in their dock and their boat props. So in order to solve it, they put in all these grass carp, which are invasive. They stocked them saying they were all males the way I see it is there's so many carp in this lake, even though we didn't catch one, they're in here, that I think they put males and females and that they're reproducing. Essentially, the carp ate every last bit of good bass fishing hydrilla there was in this lake. If you know lakes with hydrilla, it's the best cover a bass can have. They just feel secure when they're ambushing stuff. So it helped all the boat owners, but all the fishermen suffered the repercussions because all the grass was gone so the fish have been more tough to catch here but they're out here we're here by the county line because people throw in the food and so really we were just the carp love to eat whatever they can so they eat bread and chips and whatever people from the restaurants will feed to them but we couldn't catch any we caught a catfish and the carp dissipated and nothing there so the goal was to get on a quick cart, man, and then go for the bass, but I couldn't make it happen. We're gonna get on these large G's. We're gonna hit this little back pocket of the creek before we work our way back out to the mouth and really try and hammer down. Or, oh, that bank. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's on the other What's on that rock? Bass. Oh, got him, got him, he ate it. Oh, he totally grabbed it and was going with it, dude. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, something might be running over to you, babe. Something swam that way. Bring it in a little bit. Something definitely ran over to you. Hmm. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe he was on to me and I was mistaken. Oh. oh, that's how you do it, ladies and gents. Quick release on the dark sleeper, baby. We don't mess around out here. That sleeper was just sitting because I was telling Devin, I think that fish is rushing over to you, but he was rushing over to me. It was right when both of our baits hit the water. And I've got on perspective mode and I had my shots lined up. Catch anything? Uh, catfish back in the creek. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy yet. Nothing crazy yet? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I just got picked up for a half second. Has he got it? Nope. Yeah. Nope. I thought it was still moving, but I, I was clearly wrong. The, the hit was like a pop, though. It wasn't like a rock or nothing. Yeah. Kind of in there shallow by the back. Got him. There he goes. There he goes. Grant's got himself a little... Got him. A little zinker. You're, you're rocking the jig, right? Jig. Black and blue or natural? Uh, natural. All right. I just jig. got smacked right there, y'all. Definitely the same thing. <laughs> Sorry to steal your fish. Hey, we ain't tripping. We're trying to get some footage for you guys. <laughs> yeah, he did. Skirt! Yes. All right, that's what we're talking about. Down the hatch. <laughs> it's all about the natural jigs tonight, y'all. They are hitting them. See you, bud. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Grant's getting a bite off every new dock point. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> this is too funny. There we go. There we go. What's funny is that might be. I realized he was on it, but I was trying to like crank in more line to like get the hook set. I mean, I have one. As soon as you feel it, you gotta yank because he swam right out to me. Nope, nope. He's got it. Oh, <laughs> oh Dig City, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a touchdown right there. Yeah, that was so big. <laughs> that was... Okay, all right, best vlog ever. Once again, notifications on, y'all. This is just ridiculous out here. Right there. I'm in the, I'm in the brush. He's, he's got him. All right, that was a money cast. That was a money cast. And you, you didn't even see the first one that flew over your head. Oh! All right. My biggest of the night, baby. <laughs> got some in the trees, man. That's what we're talking about. See you, bud.